Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Witchblood Overview. Apparently this game released like back in the day in the Rift section. That would be about seven years ago. And it doesn't look that different, although it was pretty much snapped on in the MR mode to make it like it's something new. <laughs> Hopefully there's gonna be some more changes, but I wouldn't count on it. So Witchblood is a platformer adventure game where after your father's death you get some magical powers and embark on a revengeful journey to find the family's murderer and bring him to justice. It says it was inspired by Metroid and Castlevania series. I also kinda see the initial Prince of Persia games, you know, the horizontal 2D ones. With MR though, it looks like a basic floating window where all the action is happening. Assuming you can put it anywhere in your environment and you just look at it in the pass-through setting. Putting such basic iteration of this technology is kinda like a wrong usage of it. It literally doesn't change much if it would be in VR mode and then switching to that one. So in the instance where the game does exactly the same in both, then what's the point? <laughs> Concerning the project, it's some sort of a platformer action game with some magical abilities. You travel across multiple dioramas, you have some combat, puzzle solving. Just from reading the description, the story doesn't seem overly exciting. And press about it is somewhat non-existent, so we'll have to see if it's gonna be something interesting to play. It is an old game after all, continuing the trend of putting Rift stuff over to the standalone version. Let's find the murderer. So we have a window to the other world. I like that there's a perception of depth. Very much 3D and something that... Yeah, it's hard to explain. It's very cool visually. I do wonder if there's an VR option though, as always. That will be a no. I don't know what are blessings though. Okay, then later. I would want to move it. Maybe there's gonna be some tutorial. Let's do normal. Maybe if I decide on the playthrough, nightmare it is. <laughs> we are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded in sleep. It's getting dark. I should head home. Oh, there is VR mode. Okay, cool. Like I said, Nothing really changes except that you can see your environment. I would always opt for that because it's my thing. And you move around depending how you want to place it. Fine. So with her, the model isn't crazy. The world is nice. I mean, it's very fairy tale ish. <laughs> and I wonder if it's gonna be the same case like with Down the Rabbit Hole, where you can see other rooms on the same wall. Well, it's a wasted opportunity essentially because uh, maybe for the performance purposes it's not suitable. Just a couple of small jumps. But just a thing to consider. No problem. Just drop down here. We can't move back and forth though. Papa, I'm back! 
Thank God you're home, Clara. Come inside. What's wrong? The whole town has gone mad. Father Logan is gathering men. He's convinced them the storm is God's punishment. So? I don't understand. He couldn't possibly blame a bookseller for the weather. Clara, my dear, listen. There's some... Hurry! The cellar! Half a more! Open up! You think you can hide your secret from me? I have no secrets. I... Oh, no? Then explain this. Cleanse this place. There is nothing but corruption here. <laughs> That's fast. <laughs> Wait. What? Okay. <laughs> I would appreciate the subtitles. Papa! What happened? Where am I? This book, it, it's warm. What? <laughs> Maybe I'll do partly VR, partly MR? Nothing's different. Well, with Dark Sword, if you would switch to MR, the quality would be lower. This is exactly the same, so... Okay, fine. <laughs> Pretty quiet and everything's in max. Oh, it flies like outside. I mean, there's a thing with your hand kind of going in the uh, environment, so. No, 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 what? I'm looking for some deeper combat mechanics, but... Not much is going on for now. Toads. Toads aren't so bad. Are you sure? <laughs> He's just an obstacle. I thought I can like jump on him. Oh, I was losing health. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> My bad. Those entrances kind of indicate that it's possible to go there from other position. Father! Oh, no. I feel like there's something going on outside of here. Yeah, like frames. Overlapping. Oh, see, like there's something actually going on in VR more than MR, so and very helpful because this is like a map of what have happened. So instead of live windows, you have a drawing essentially. from the inside. It's so cold. Cold? Yeah, I like that, actually. Very much helpful. Oh, 
the moves are like blocking themselves when you jump and then wanna do something. It's not that intuitive. It's like I'm a specialist of platformers, which at this point, kinda. That was a secret. These statues were monuments to great warriors. Maybe some of their power remains. I feel like I can attack faster now. That is true, and there's like a combo. I wonder if I have some information about it. Yeah, okay, nice. And there seems like it's gonna be a lot of going on. Whatever is in these herbs, I do feel better. Cool. I wonder what this will be. I wonder about the footsteps though. Can can I go down, right? But not here. So it's also nice to go back and then see what's happening in the other stage, I think. How can I get over there? At least there aren't any of those things here. The drawings also indicate potential entrances, windows. And you can see here, though it's less detailed <laughs> for some reason. Possible. I wonder what's the general path like to the top? I mean, is that much different? I don't have like specific statistics. Okay, another skill. Okay. I don't know why she goes a bit up and then attack downwards. And so it's like you have XP system going on. I can't get it. 
There's no way I can jump that far. Yeah, that sucks, but we'll probably This must have opened that door down there. Go back there. On the summoning of spirits. Hey, I understand this. Okay. It worked. Yeah, but what does it do? I wanted to fly. And it seems like the footsteps are not infinite. are trying to kill me now. Oh, I thought it regenerates. I should have one there. can't jump and attack, which is very weird for a platformer. I don't think that's the correct path. There's gonna be a lot of backtracking. Oh, that restores my mana. A blade. I have to get up there. It's not like I'm struggling. There's definitely a lot of collectibles going on, so I, again, appreciate the map, which is not here. <laughs> sure, you can open the main menu, but it's easy to miss it. I definitely prefer VR. How did I get hit? It's a maze. I also don't need to fight with literally anyone. Amnibus.
<laughs> Man, I... I wonder what this room is for. Yeah, if there are like multiple paths, then once again, this map is very helpful. <laughs> There's also something going on there, but I don't know if I can go. And dropping is... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, I have to stop here. I thought this 14% is the whole game's completion, but it seems like it's specific to this area only. In general, I think this is pretty cute. I love when I say that word. But it could be interpreted in two ways. The mechanics are there, they are definitely progressive, so while you explore and if you do that more than going in a straight path which is kind of impossible because it's a maze you unlock stuff over time with the melee you see there are stages and there's a lot of dots to complete so the game is big <laughs> on top of that magic the whole exploration with mr It is what it is, like, nothing really special. I would even say more that VR is better simply because of seeing this world map overlay that will definitely help you in your adventures. Of course you can access it here, but it's not as detailed, so definitely some advantage going on. I don't necessarily know if it's something playthrough worthy for me. It's nice, but at this point in the game, it is definitely an old school vibe type of game. That is in this tech, but doesn't necessarily take any advantage of it. In total, it's fine. I'm not blown away. It's definitely like taking you back to more simpler times in gaming.